Okay, here's you can see I'm uh, making a pilot arc torch out of one that's not designed to be a pilot arc. And uh, here's what they call the new design on this on this torch. And neither one of these to start with was a pilot arc because you had to you had to you had to put touch the tip to the work to get it to to fire. So what I'd done is I'd taken this head from this case and put it on this case where this one went. In other words, I just took the I just took the head and switched it because this case here was better. So uh, what I'd done on the uh, is is designing this pilot arc. You can see right here. I've taken a Dremel tool and I've cut into this head right here and I soldered a wire onto this collar brass collar this wire comes down I've cut a channel in here comes down and this wire comes in, in, in here and it comes underneath the torch stem and comes to this uh, heat shrink tube and it goes into here it's connected to another wire here and it goes out to the end of the torch <clears throat> I also added also changed the micro switch uh, this micro switch here is uh, a better grade than the one that came out of it uh, this is the one that came out of the, when I bought this head here uh, the torch handle and uh, this is not a very good micro switch so I put a commercial micro switch in here and uh, connected it to the, the connected to the uh, the turn on cable which plugs into the uh, pilot arc I mean the, the cut 50 uh, connector which is here this is a pilot arc connector uh, you, your machine has to be a pilot arc machine before you can even make one into a pilot arc so what we've done here is we connected the uh, the torch end back uh, through to the uh, hose and this this piece here this little plastic piece I had to make that uh, because this is a heavier duty spring and the reason why I put a heavy duty spring in there is, is I wanted it to where when you laid the torch down it wouldn't hit something and set the torch off easy because this is a uh, this has a little bit more push effort to it so and I uh, this cavity here I fill this cavity back up with JB Weld and uh, the reason why I know that this line is fastened to this sleeve this collar is because I also have another one of these pilot pilot arc machines and I checked its cable and it's connected here and the head of it the heads just like okay if you're wondering how I got the uh, cable got that long wire into the cable all the way down there it was a it's a trick but the way I'd done it was you have the hose and you have the micro switch cable okay here we took the uh, micro switch cable and I cut the connectors off the end of it and I, and I uh, taped on the new pilot arc wire the wire I was using for pilot arc and I got me a long piece of string and I taped those together on the uh, micro switch cable and then when I I pulled the micro switch cable out of the sheathing and when I did I pu also pulled the uh, pilot arc cable through and the string 
so then when I got to the end here I untaped it and I hooked the string back to the pilot arc uh, cable and then I pulled the string back at this end and then that pulled the pilot arc cable I mean the the the, the micro switch cable back into the sheath again so that's kind of uh, that's kind of how I done it worked out real good no problem at all okay just wanted to let you know how I got the cable in there in case you know anybody was wondering okay bye